Welcome traders to another Tick Mill earnings report preview with me Patrick Mundy. Before we jump into today's report, as always want to adhere to the risk disclaimer. Uh, most pertinent to today's presentation is the fact that the views expressed by me are solely mine. They're not indicative or representative of those held by Tick Mill UK or Tick Mill Europe Limited. Okay, let's jump into today's report and we are looking at AMD Advanced Micro Devices who are going to report after the close of New York trading today. We're looking for an earnings per share of $1.03 on a revenue of $6.53 billion. I would note there is an earnings whisper on the street that the EPS could come in as high as $109. So with the stock rising rampantly on Monday, the question beckons whether the company is expected to beat its earnings target. Semiconductor industry has been struck with an array of headwinds this year, with global supply shortages front and centre. A top-to-bottom overview suggests supply-side factors remain an issue. According to JP Morgan's research team, Global Purchasing Managers Index data has slowed to the lowest growth rate in two years. Although much of the slowdown can be attributed to continuous pandemic lockdowns in China, the signs also indicate the global consumer spending power is receding. For instance, the US has now recorded two quarters of negative growth, pulling it into a recession by definition. Due to the slowdown in global consumer strength, AMD might struggle as demand for durable goods wanes. On the positive side, Advanced Micro Devices is a secular growth company with a five-year compound annual growth rate of 32.52%. Thus, it could be one of the few companies to persevere through a cyclical downturn in the economy. The market share of AMD's CPU segment remains robust, as its overall ownership adds up to 27.7%, with desktop and mobility divisions providing a solid foundation. Furthermore, the company's uh, GPU market share is highly lucrative, as the domain is set to grow by 31.1% at least until 2025 amid an influx of gaming, artificial neural networks and crypto mining activities. Holistically speaking, AMD's substantial market share in the central processing unit and graphics processing unit spaces coalesces to a gross profit margin of 48.5%, meaning the company is capable of, of exerting its pricing power and dodging temporary economic headwinds. One factor to consider is AMD's more than $3 billion in deferred tax liabilities. Although this can be settled in time, a sudden recognition of taxes could dent the company's EPS. So let's take a look at some of the statistical trading patterns seen around AMD earning releases. AMD shares have moved lower in the immediate aftermath of earnings, 7 out of 12 previous reports. On average, the stock moved up 0.3% in the first day of trading after the company's report. Based on the previous 12 earnings releases, AMD is more likely to trade lower one day after earnings for an average loss of 0.4%. However, on average, the stock has moved higher by 2.7% one week after earnings. From a volatility perspective, options traders are pricing in an 8.3% move on earnings. The stock has averaged a 5.5% move in recent quarters. So from a flow and sentiment perspective, there has been notable buying 55,784 contracts of the $100 call expiring this Friday. Options order flow in general, though, has been bearish. Investor sentiment going into the company's earnings has 78% expecting an earnings beat. AMD's share price has drifted down 2.7% post its prior earnings announcement. Using the last 12 quarters of data, however, the average drift between earnings announcements is 13.2%. The current drift represents a negative 0.1% standard deviation move. Okay, let's pull up the charts and see if we can identify some near-term trading opportunities in the AMD stock. So as I noted, there has been an impulsive move here to the upside. We're sitting at that weekly trend line resistance now, just below the $100 level. Remember, we've got that $100 call, a lot of interest in that, uh, in, that, in that strike. So what I'd be looking for is any beat in terms of the earnings and a close through the trend line resistance here at 98.50, I want to engage on the long side, targeting move up into the high volume load at 114.82. At this stage, any, uh, any pullback in the stock on the weekly time frame here, watch this 83.50 level, the high volume load, as another opportunity to engage on the long side, 
to target that move up into the 114, which is my uh, interim upside objective for the, for the stock. As always, traders, plan the trade, trade the plan, and most importantly, manage your risk. Until next time, thanks very much.